smoking with the Migos. It's just me and me and Migos. Uh. Hey guys, welcome back to channel. Welcome back to another video on uh, the 335i. So today, guys, we're gonna be working on the 335, of course. But we're also going to be working on the 328. We've got a few things to do. I want to keep you guys more, um, you know, you guys said you guys want to see more content. I'll give you guys more content. Um, basically, what I did in the last three days is that I compiled some content that I believe is, you know, informative. And um, I'll put it all in one video for you guys. See how if, if you guys like these videos. Um, so basically, what I did is that I installed certain things on the 335. And I'm trying to fix the 328. I'm going to, you know, put little cuts in between and show you guys everything I've done in the last three days. So... I don't want to, um, you know, I, t I know I know I talk too fast. I don't know why. I just That's how my brain works. But anyways, guys, so I'm going to keep everything short. I just want to say shout out to those of you guys who bought the decals. I'm always going to say that up front because you guys support the channel so much. So if you guys want to purchase one of those decals, purchase them down below and you guys will be shout out in the next video. So I just want to shout out everyone who's purchased the decals since the last video. Um, so we're going to go down here to Omar Saleh. Shout out to you, bro. Leo Lu Luchaga. Luchuga. Luch Lichuga. So don't kill me for saying the last names wrongs, uh, but I'm going to go through it one more time mainly because I feel like I kind of butchered you guys' last names. I should at least give you guys an honorable mention. So Omar, shout out to you. Leo, Barry, Luis, Danny, uh, Francisco, Christopher, shout out to you guys. And the biggest shout out goes to Brandon. Brandon, bro, shout out to you, man. You killed it. If you're on Instagram, go ahead and DM me, bro. Um, I appreciate it. I'm going to try to send you out some extra decals. This guy uh, purchased $20 worth of decals that I know he doesn't need. But he knows it's going towards the build. So shout out to you, bro. That 20 bucks is going to help out a lot. Trust me, because everything adds up. These I, I normally sell the decals for around 350 a piece. So he actually, that's how much he purchased. He purchased quite a bit to get up to 20 bucks. So shout out to you, bro. Um, I really do appreciate that. So we're going to be doing the intakes on this bad boy. Really excited about that. I actually can't lie, guys. This stock intake actually looks a whole lot cooler than the 328. I don't know if you guys know about the 321, but it's just like a giant box right here. This actually looks so sick. But anyways, we got the cone air intakes. We come on around over here. I know it's super messy. We got the intakes in here, and I'm guessing this is some extra tubing that it comes with. So we got the intake other one over here, and this is the tune we'll be installing in a future video. But yeah, guys, I went ahead and I picked up the the white. I think it's they call it, I think it's white. Oh god, I almost dropped it. I don't know if it's the white or the gray. It's starting to look more like gray. But um, anyways, I picked this up rather than like the red or the blue, mainly because if I'm go with Nardo gray, because a lot of you guys are saying Nardo gray for the wrap, I kind of want the engine bay to kind of match it. And especially these ones are not as popping as well, the cow filters. So I kind of want it to where everything just matches super clean looking. Cannot wait to install these, especially these on the top say burger tuning on them. So they're super sick. But yeah, still waiting on my cousins. But until then, um, we're going to go ahead and install these bad boys. And I'm actually going to take out the car outside, um, mainly because I want to test out where the... The smoke is coming from having this entire area clear makes it so much easy for me to just take off this engine cover and make sure where the exact smoke is coming from. I'm hoping I don't see any come from here, but around the engine, if it's around the engine, it's most likely like an 80% valve cover leak, which is of course bad news, but at the same time, it's something we can deal with. If it's coming from straight from the cap, it could be a nightmare. Um, I don't know yet, so... We'll have to look into that as well. But I tried running it a little bit last tonight. I ran it for about five minutes, and I didn't see any smoke, to be honest with you guys. So I'm actually going to back the car out of the garage and work out there and check the smoke later. I'm not going to do it in here again because after the five minutes, we felt like dying. As you guys know, I do have a fuel plausibility error and uh, I think, uh, what's it called? And an oil temperature sensor uh, error. So... I do need two sensors I need to pick up. They're roughly about 70 bucks for both sensors. And luckily these sensors are almost on the top of the engine bay. Um, one of them is like right here. And then the other one's underneath the intake manifold, which is kind of a pain. But yo, at least it's not underneath the car. At least it's not something I have to get down and dirty in. We're going to go ahead, back up the car, test it out later. But again, waiting on my cousins. That's going to be the last, uh, the last uh, pause I'm going to tell you. I mean, I'm going to give you guys. Don't worry. Next time I check back. I'll be with my cousins. All right, guys. So like I promised, my cousins are here now. So. Hey, what's up, guys? What's up, y'all? It's been a while, man. <laughs> yeah, you guys haven't months. seen them in forever now. You guys miss me? Probably not. <laughs> you miss me, guys. <laughs> you guys all know Mohammed. So, yeah. I mean, Mohammed <laughs> Ibrahim. <laughs> so, you guys can see that, you know, we're working on the car. Okay, Yusuf. So, we're over here going to be working on the 335. I'm not really used to having a camera in front of them. Like, it's been a long time, guys. It's been a long time. But yeah, they're, gonna, they're here to help me install the air intake. You guys were car. wondering where we've been. Uh, we went to Qatar for two months. Uh, if you don't know where Qatar is, uh, it's next to Dubai. That's great. And if you don't know where Dubai is, it's... Uh, never mind. Uh, okay. Continue. 
Anyways, so we're gonna install the air intakes. Ibrahim's gonna help me out with that. Um, we're just gonna try to see how it fits in. The reason why we're doing the air intakes is because, as I like I said earlier, guys, this thing I feel like it's in the way when I remove the valve cover, regardless. So we're gonna put the uh, the upgraded air intakes for burger tuning. See how it looks. Probably rev up the engine. I think everything is fine at the engine. It's just a valve cover leak, and if you guys know what a valve cover leak is, it's just gonna leak oil, and it's very slow, um, and it just makes it look like something crazy is going on because it's touching the exhaust. So I'm wondering what all this, you know, I don't know what this this leak is. Is that like power steering somehow got down there? I don't know what this is. I don't know if these, I don't know what is this exactly. If you guys can let me know what that is exactly, that'd be great. I don't know if it's something you'd be concerned about or who cares. You guys let me know down in the comments. So we just got the cone intakes installed. I'm gonna go ahead and take it outside, give it a few revs. Um, the main reason, first thing, is to hear the, the, hear the intakes. Hopefully there's a little bit of a sound difference. I heard there is, so that'd be kinda cool. Second thing, I'm gonna remove this um, engine bay cover to see this, where the smoke is coming from. I'm hoping not from the cap, hoping from the back of the car, I mean from the back of the engine. And <laughs> I'm hoping that it's the valve cover gasket rather than the, the, the turbo seals. Because some of you guys are telling me that could be the turbo seals, and that's a very costly thing. I mean, uh, you know, those go upwards of maybe a couple grand. So we're hoping it's a valve cover gasket at this point, even though that's already a, a tedious job. But let's just see um, what we're going to see when we take it outside. Do you feel, Noor? Sounds really good. I'm just trying to see the smoke, guys. I'm more stressed out about that right now. Do you guys see the smoke? Oh, shit, Noor! Uh -huh. No, that's really good. Oh, so there's no smoke from the cap? There's not a lot, like, there's nothing coming out of the cap right now. No, that's good then. Okay, so engine seems to be healthy. There is a, there is smoke guys coming out, but as soon as the fan kicked in, I don't know if you guys noticed, but all the smoke got pushed in the back and started coming out a lot more. I don't know, you know, why it's smoking. I don't know, it could be, it could be a valve cover still from the rear. There's oil here. Huh? There's oil here. Oh, you see oil? Yeah, there's oil here. Left oil. No, it looks new. Looks that looks new. Okay guys, let me show you guys the leak right here. Actually you can see oil leaking right there. That's that's a sign of a valve cover gasket leak right there. So that's a good sign guys. Uh, I'm really happy about that. How's that a good sign? That's a good sign because it's a valve cover, not turbocharged oh, okay. seal failure. You know, it's a better sign guys. It's a better sign. <laughs> a better sign. That's what a better way to say it. <laughs> good sign, my booty. Mechanic level 2000. Yeah guys, that's oil. Well, let, me, let me focus on that. Ooh, all right guys that's oil straight up so all right guys so yeah i saw that it is leaking from the valve cover i don't know why i'm happy but it's better than you know the turbos the turbos would have been a whole nother joke so that's a good sign and the way i identify that is with burger tunis cow filter see that plug-in so i mean it just gave me so much room to work with um <laughs> i was able to see <laughs> You know where the smoke was exactly coming from none was coming from the actual oil cap which I thought it was coming from so that's a good sign um, You know the intake sound amazing. It looks amazing. Just look at this engine big guys. It's really coming together it's Beautiful man. Let me let me go ahead and put the adding touch real quick That's 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 a racer guys Anyways Oh baby look at this. 
That's an engine bay. You can just put that on there. Look at that. That looks beautiful. We so, yeah, we're gonna have to. It's done, boys. <laughs> Honestly, Funny. like it's just crazy. This car is not even on the road yet, and we've already Burger Two. He's sending us out some intakes, Cal. But this thing's coming together. So yeah, guys, I'm about to install the tune hopefully soon. Um, I'm still obviously worried about the gasket. Should do the gasket first before anything else. I'm probably gonna reach out to them about it for a cooling system as well. So if you guys can really help me out and just check out their website, check out their products. If you guys like the products, check them out down below. Honestly, their products are amazing. The quality's good. Mom, st stop talking, man. He's talking. Remove this, just get that airbag. Okay, that's it, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> all right, don't talk too much, bro. That's it. <laughs> that's it, that's all I want to say. So if you guys want me to talk much, uh, anymore, you guys are not I'm getting that talking, anymore. I'm, I, I can't talk anymore. That's it. All right, guys, so this one actually came with a bunch of wires, which is crazy. Unlike mine, if you guys look at mine real quick, that is nothing. So we won't be needing all these wires, but I'll cut the ones and use the ones that we need. And if you guys look over here, it comes with all the harnesses. We won't be needing this guy. Go ahead and take that guy out. I don't know how that, okay, whatever. And then we have this one, which I probably won't know how to take out either. Right there. And then we got this one. Bam. So we'll plug in those two, we'll plug in this, plug in that. And we'll rewire the harness and plug the harness back in. Hopefully, this guy should get our whole computer to work and everything. All right, guys. So I just I, I just remembered something. I'm hoping this uh, machine works. The CCC system. I found a lot of people on eBay uh, mentioning how you can just send in your system and they can fix it for you for like 150 bucks, something like that. Uh, but the only thing is, if I would have sent in mine, mine had a bolt through it. So I don't know if they would have fixed that or not. You know. And that's enough of that. You that's know? enough. Yeah. All right, keep going. Super clean. They like you talking. Oh, you guys don't want to hear me talking. <laughs> yeah, Damage my interior. Shh, stop talking. Alright guys, hide that, just stop. Are you recording? <laughs> you recording? <laughs> Y'all love recording. Alright All right, guys, so we, we, we just got everything disconnected from here. We just got all the wiring done. I know my wiring is beautiful. I actually put some iron on there and then I put some uh, tape on it. I know you guys are also telling me to put some, uh, what's it called, some heat shrink on it. That's doing too much. So we're going to go ahead, slap it on. Um, it actually has the, the fuse on there, so that looks good. And everything seems to be in place, so I don't think I have to put anything back on this guy. Everything seems to be on here, so we're just gonna go ahead and plug it in, hope for the best. Alright guys, so we got everything hooked up. I'm a little bit stressed out. I'm really hoping this machine actually works. It could be broken, so we're gonna hope for the best, we're gonna hope for the wiring. This is like a really this is like a 25-75 chance, so we're hoping for the best here. Um, my brother's hooking up the car and um yeah, we'll see. I will slap you in the face. I, yeah, it's one screw. Yeah, I mean, what are you putting in? Did you hear the disc spinning? I hear the, I hear the disc spinning. Yeah, yeah, I heard it too, yeah. Yeah. All right, it's guys. It's vibrating. Oh, my Lord. Oh, that's like that. Oh, shit. Click that and accept. Oh, this looks so ugly. Oh, it's hella dirty. Oh, my God. Well, it's fine. It works. What is that? It has a fan. Oh really? It's probably yeah, just hella so dusty it's, then. It's just cleaning it, I guess. All right, guys, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and go down over here. Information. Look at that. Oh my God, it's actually working. And then you're gonna go to services. Check control messages. And bam, that is all of our problems. Oh my lord, look at the problems. <laughs> that is a beautiful sign of problems. 
What is all this? You see, it actually tells me like right front parking lamp. This like it's so convenient. Ignition switched on, fuel reserve, set time and date. Dude, so, the smell. Oh my god. Yeah. What is that? Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and turn this off. Oh, it's the AC. Cause the car isn't on, the AC was on. Ooh, oh my lord, boy, it's so dirty though. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and clean all this up, guys. We'll get back to you guys when we put it all back together. Comes and goes. I'm reaching out for the easy high. Please fortify this strength of mine. My weakness comes and goes. Here. <laughs> that was that. We have come such a long way. I am proud to announce that on a monitor, wait, <laughs> look how beautiful, that's so disgusting. Um, we're I'm gonna have to go start cleaning this off, the screen's super gross. When I start up the car, this gas gauge just kinda goes crazy. Uh, I mean the fuel gauge, yeah, gas gauge, fuel gauge, it goes crazy. So I do have a code for fuel plausibility. Let me know if that's a sensor, guys. Um, but yeah, that's like one of my major issues. And this gauge doesn't work either. Um, I actually do have a code saying th something about oil temperature sensor malfunction. So that could be that as well. Let me, let me go ahead and get my brother's car in the garage. This is this video is literally like three days put in one because I want to have less talking, more content. Let me get my, my brother's car in the garage, show you guys what's currently going on with it. My body aches to be so guys, we didn't end up driving this for two days. We're gonna go ahead and take out, um, we should take this out for more room, you know? So we're gonna go ahead and take out this whole intake, uh, intake. Um, I really, it's just such an ugly looking intake. I have that on my 338. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Cause we know us boys are getting cone air air intakes in that boy. Hey boy. So basically, I'm gonna be pulling out that sensor right there. That is our, you know, our failure point. How I knew it was the sensor, I'll show you guys in a little bit once we get that out. So now I'm super confused. I thought it was this, this clip. I'm not sure anymore. Mainly because when we pulled it out, we didn't even see the, the, the wire. And then back here, you guys can see there's an orange piece in there, like blocking it. So as if nothing was supposed to be there in the first place. So it could very well be the sensor and my sensor just won't work on this car. So maybe these BMWs are just extra picky. You guys know BMWs. So we might have to order a new sensor, plug it in and see if that's gonna solve our issue. But the reason for our service engine light and all those errors is because of this, the connection here. So yeah, at least you know it's not the wire. So it probably has to be the, the sensor itself. But disconnect the battery again, take out the sensor, put it in this car, clear the code and run the car. We're gonna go down to Chipotle you know, get sunny with our cousins, Chipotle. Chipotle, and we're gonna hope for the best. So, let's go ahead and do that. I mean, I'm, it shouldn't be that hard. I mean, it was pretty fast, so we're gonna go ahead and just do that real quick. My weakness comes and goes, it goes, it goes. The car is hella dirty right now because we've been just working on it, taking it out of the shop and everything. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that over there. Hop on in, okay. Put this car in accessory mode. There is this Carly for life, boys. Again, I needed a sponsorship from Carly. Literally been using their products in every single one of my videos. All right, I'll go ahead and plug that in. Wow, that shim is annoying. So I'm gonna go ahead, connect it, clear the code, and let you guys know when that's done. All right, guys, we're running the codes right now. Already right off the bat, we got three codes. That's great, that's perfect. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and clear it, and then once we clear all these codes, we're gonna go ahead and drive it down Chipotle and hope for the best here. All right, I'm pretty sure it's cleared, so I'm gonna go ahead and start up the car now. Is that you? No. 